It's Medicare's annual enrollment period, which means you might be reviewing your health coverage or exploring the different plans available. You heard me talk to Dave Cohen earlier about <clears throat> just renewing our insurance here, and it it just frazzles me. I don't like it. I hate everything to do with it. But maybe we can make it a little bit easier for you with Medicare. One option is a Medicare Advantage plan, but did you know there are different types of Medicare Advantage plans? And Nick Carl joins us now from People's Health to explain more. Good morning, Nick. How are you? I'm doing great, Tommy. Thanks for having me. Uh, can you explain, perhaps to begin, what a Medicare Advantage plan is? Yeah, so Medicare Advantage plans, some people may also know them as Medicare Part C plans are offered through private health insurance companies, and they all have to be approved by Medicare and provide med- all the Medicare benefits that are covered under original Medicare. But then they also offer additional benefits, some like you know routine dental and vision, health club memberships, over-the-counter um, medication, things like that. And People's Health is an example of a Medicare Advantage plan. So there's more than one type of... Medicare Advantage plan. That's right. There's there's several different types, and uh, some of the more common ones are HMOs or PPOs. There's SNP plans or special need plans. Each one has different requirements or unique benefits that that are really worth people considering, and that's why it's so important for folks to do their homework and find the plan that fits them the best. Well, let's jump right in and start with an HMO. What is that? So HMO, and I'm sure people have heard that acronym quite a bit, it stands for Health Maintenance Organization. And HMOs offer a wide range of healthcare services through a, through a network of providers, you know, such as doctors and hospitals. And members of an HMO plan have to use the specified healthcare providers. And at really each member chooses a primary care physician who, who handles their overall care and then kind of refers to specialists and, and other people within the network. And the key there with an HMO is before you join an HMO, check to see if your doctors and hospitals are in the network. If not, you may have to switch to a provider that is in the network. And People's Health, our Choice is 65 plan that serves the greater New Orleans area and in the Baton Rouge is an example of an HMO plan. There's also plans called HMO-POS. or Point of service stands, POS stands for point of service, and that means you have an option to see doctors outside the network uh, that will cost you more. So inside the network, you would pay a specific, you know, copay. Outside the network, you would pay a higher cost to see that doctor. What about SNPs? You call them SNPs? Yeah, SNPs, the special needs plans. And, and again, you hear them called SNPs quite a bit. Those are tailored to people with specific health conditions or income, and there's a few different types of SNPs out there. You must meet the requirements to be accepted into that plan, and some examples of that are chronic condition SNPs, which means that you only accept people that have uh, specific kind of chronic conditions like cancer or diabetes or chronic heart failure. There are D-SNPs or dual-eligible SNPs. And those are for people that have both Medicare and Medicaid. So they're eligible based on their Medicare status, but also their lower income and have uh, eligibility for Medicaid. And then there are I-SNPs or institutional SNPs. Um, And if people require services from a long-term care, skilled nursing facility or nursing home, um, they're, they're eligible for those plans. So each of these types of SNPs feature personalized, coordinated care, at a reduced cost to the member. And People's Health, we have really two D-SNPs. We have our Secure Health and our Secure Complete plans, which are based on Medicare and Medicaid needs. All right, let's 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 digest what we have so far and let it sink in. And when we come back, we can talk about PPOs and group plans and more. We're talking with Nick Carl with People's Health. It's Medicare's annual enrollment period, and we're, help you na- we're trying to help you navigate those Medicaid waters, uh, Medicare waters, rather, or maybe Medicaid, too, could be a part of it. 820, more when we come back. Right now, time for traffic on WWL. 25 WWL First News Time. I'm Tommy Tucker on this Veterans Day 2021. Happy Veterans Day to all of you veterans. Uh, It's Day 74 of the Ida Recovery. We're talking to Nick Carl with People's Health. It's Medicare's annual enrollment period, and we're kind of going through the different Medicare Advantage plans and 
Nick, I believe we left off at a PPO. Yeah, so a PPO stands for a Preferred Provider Organization. And like an HMO, a PPO has a network of providers, but it gives the, gives the member a little more flexibility. So um, if the member wants to use a provider outside of the network, they can, but it's just at a little bit higher of a cost. So if they stay within the network of the PPO, they have a lower cost, but they do have access outside of a network at a higher cost. And uh, people sell us, we have two PPO plans. We have our Choices PPO and our Patriot PPO. And on Veterans Day, it's worth mentioning our Patriot PPO. Uh, it's a plan that's designed for veterans, really, for somebody that has access to VA benefits, but still wants the extra benefits of an Advantage plan. So it's, it doesn't include prescription drug coverage like most of our plans do, but it gives them access to use the VA while also getting the advantages of some of the uh, Medicare Advantage benefits. So where do group plans fit in all of this? Yeah, so group plans, that, that's, that's kind of the last probably group we'll talk about today. And it's an employer, it's for employers to offer to their retirees. It's called an employer group waiver plan or an EGWIP, uh, as we call it kind of in the industry. And uh, it's, it's, again, it's for, it's a retiree benefit plan established or maintained by an employer, like a union or a church group or a municipality that provides medical care to employees and their dependents directly. So teachers or Louisiana State employees may have this option. If, if you're retired and you think, you know, you maybe this is offered to you, you should definitely uh, contact your employer to look into that. So we got HMOs, PPOs, SNPs, and egg whips. How, how can people find out more about what's available in their area? So the best place to start is probably on Medicare's website, www.medicare.gov. And here you can find general information about Medicare and all the, all the services that are covered. You can also compare Medicare Advantage plans in your area. So you can compare up to three plans side by side. And you want to look at the benefits. You want to look at the cost. You want to look at the provider network, the star ratings. There's a lot of things to consider. So doing a, a side-by-side -side comparison is probably the best place to start. And then from there, you can go and, and, and research each individual plan. You know, I was mentioning earlier, Nick, that I get nauseous, just nauseated, just getting the, the company's benefit thing done year to year because um, I don't understand half of it. If people want to learn more specifically about people's health plans, I guess it would be great to sit down with somebody and kind of have them walk you through it. Yeah, I would definitely recommend that. And if you're in the New Orleans area, we can meet um, in person with one of our representatives at our new People's Health United Healthcare Medicare Center at the intersection of Veterans and Causeway Boulevard in Metairie. It's right next to Party City at 3017 Veterans Memorial Boulevard. And we do have the opportunity for folks to walk in and ask questions, or they can also call and set up an appointment, which is definitely recommended. We're also hosting a mix of virtual and in-person benefits presentations throughout the end of November and into December. And those events are safe, social distance, you know, meetings where you can review your specific needs with a licensed representative, and reservations are encouraged for those as well. You can learn more about that at peopleshealth.com slash meetings, or you can call us at 844-600-7910. And I definitely encourage folks to come and learn more about all the great plans that we're offering heading into 2022. Nick, God bless you for keeping all this straight. I don't know how you do it, but thank God you do because – People like us have no idea how it works. Thank you, sir. Good to talk to you. Thanks for having me. You bet. You can always learn more, go, learn more rather by going to peopleshealth.com. You can call 1-800-978-9765, and you can follow People's Health on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Time now, WWL First News. For that, we go to Dave Cohen.